Well, this is this is, was the center of musical instruments, 48th Street here in New York. So when I got here, this is where I came to get my first guitar. These were all shops, Hermesh, uh, Manny's, uh, Alex Music, Rudy's. I had guitars from Rudy's and I had guitars from places here. But it's all gone. We got left is the many sign and the big clock, so at least we'll remember this place. And I still got the guitar, so it's great. When was the last time you played here? The last time was 2000 and I believe it uh, 13 and it was, uh, well I played here many times but one of the greatest times was uh, 2013 when it was for Ayrton's uh, 70th birthday and of course the music was a highlight with everyone playing, but uh, very special was uh, Lusolov was on trumpet, which has passed this year, right in March, I believe March. And but also the, one of the highlights was, was when uh, Ron Carter came in to the club with flowers for, <laughs> for IUT. So that was really a. a sweet thing that happened then and uh, it was a great gig and, and it was great great musicians play with with uh, uh, Elio, Elio Alves was on piano and uh, Diana Ayrton's daughter and Flora's daughter and Krishna and so it was good memories of that gig here at the Blue Note
there was uh, uh, Jimmy, uh, which worked the club since the first day, uh, used to be at the door receiving and, and letting people, uh, welcoming people. He told me that he was here when Jimi Hendrix came, once the, the night before Jimi Hendrix uh, died. And this was, I think he sat in here. Uh, I don't know who was playing, maybe Eric Gordon. And he told me that he was here when Jimi came in that night. So, I think it was probably the last jam Jimmy did. I think he sat in that, that night or the night before. There's no expectation of you gotta come and be this way. No, you got you come here and you play where you are, you play the music that that you wanna play. And and explore. And audiences that come here are the same. Are people that that are into into finding finding something special, something that touches them, something they become part of the band. And it's so close contact that you talk to everyone in between shows. You, you meet people, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a quite of a quite of a special place. Yeah. Forbes. Oh, man. I'm not going to send me skim and rubbish. I'm, turn, I'm not opening the. Uh, <laughs> That's really this. Just, I just bought it just now. It smells good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll take the top off. <laughs> Richard, Richard Reynoso.
Nice, nice. Bit of bark, yeah, you know, yeah, can't yeah, beat yeah, a bit yeah. of bark, can you? <laughs> can't beat bark. I was trying to remember this one in the, on, the, on this guitar. I don't know if I played this one, I think. Not one of your tunes, really? Yeah. This is a new, new one, you mean? Or? This would be a good one for you to play. Why well, that one? If you ever written it down, have you put? I never wrote it down. It's like a, it's like a study then. It's a study. Yeah, yeah. Because I wanted to study this, the opening. Right.
to send that to me. They can, uh, I can learn it. Yeah. You would do that. Don't do that. Put it into the music. Yeah. God says, just a story that goes around the internet, and uh, we find a guy that looks just like who wrote who wrote some good songs. <laughs> and it turned out that the guy was really good. No, he was better than Paul McCartney. Oh, it's better. <laughs> now he lives around here too, Paul McCartney. Yeah. Well, anyway, what are we counting? See you in a minute. It's kind of, you know, I've never heard that one.